Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Merry Christmas! I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday. Um, today's the culmination, so, um, you know, just sending wishes uh, of family, friends, and fun from the Reese house to your house. So today, uh, I'm doing the second card with the Awesome Otter stamp set from our new celebration event that starts uh, the beginning of January. This is the catalog. Look how, you can tell just by the words here, all the different beautiful colors that are featured throughout this catalog in different papers. Um, so we also have some super adorable stamp sets and Awesome Otters is one of them. I'm also going to pair today's project as I did Thursday with the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. Super cute, you can see the colors, same as on the front of the, the Celebration catalog. So, so many different patterns, um, so many different adorable colors, love it. So we're gonna do a cute little card using this little guy. So let's bring in our pieces. We're gonna start with just a thick, basic white card base. Oh, let's find our bone folder. Okay, then I have a piece of pool party that we are just going to adhere down. I'm not even doing anything to this. This is very quick and simple. And the measurements and supplies will be posted on my blog. The link is in the description. All right, so then I've taken just a piece of basic black, and then I've cut two three by three pieces of the designer paper. So we have this one, it's got the little skinny stripes on the other side, and then this fun little cloud pattern with clouds have all the different little patterns from the paper. And then it has a little pink, um, well, those are rainbows. I thought they were hearts, but they're little teeny weeny rainbow pattern. So um, we're using this one. So we have like kind of a sky and sea pattern to go with this. All right, so let's grab our otter. And we need one, a little scrap piece of um, white, which is right here. So we're going to stamp our otter twice. We're going to stamp them first on our white, okay, on our white scrap. Then what I want to do is I'm going to make him kind of coming out of the ocean. So I'm going to lay that down. I'm not gluing anything, but I'm going to lay this down so I can see where that edge comes because I want my, my water above the edge. Um, above the, you know, the bottom of the cloud piece. Is this making sense? I hope it's making sense. It's just kind of a guide where I'm placing this. And then we're gonna stamp him right there. And I think we'll go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna do, you are utterly awesome. We're gonna just stamp it down here. Bottom left, that's it. Okay, so. Next step is we are going to kind of cut this out. All right. I am going to cut it out, leaving some of the little black waves. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna cut his whole head off. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We'll give him back, back his head. Um, I think Let's see, we might, might go ahead and keep this, this splash up here. Get rid of that. Keep that little splash, come down, and then keep this wave and kind of go off there. So you got kind of a, a little wave. Now we only have a little black there, so I'm gonna take my light basic black blends and I am just gonna make sure we have an edge across the whole thing. Cause I want, definitely want a little separation from the sky and the, and the water. Okay. So 
So this guy is going to go right there, but we're going to do a little coloring before we assemble. So let's take our otter. We're going to color him with a little crumb cake. So we're using light crumb cake for his body. All right. And then we'll use dark crumb cake for his, oh, well, that's the, the, the smaller, his belly. That's what I meant to say. All right. Hopefully keeping the eyes white. Okay. This is a nice easy one because there's, there's not a lot to color. We're not going to color all the water. All right. And then we're going to use the, the black, the light black for his nose. And then I have pool parties. So I'm just going to use a little bit. I think this is dark pool party. Just a little bit on these two splashes there. And then I'm going to come over and do a little bit on the splashes here. Just to make them stand out a little bit more from the background. And then maybe we'll do just, you know, kind of a little bit on the waves. A little bit up there, just a little extra color. All right. Now we're going to cut this guy out. I like this one because, as I said on uh, Thursday, it's got nice thick lines, so it's easy, pretty easy to cut out. Let's cut off some of that extra. And he, we only have to cut half of him out because we're only using uh, the top half, which is nice. Okay, and we're just going to cut them out here. We want to keep this little, the little uh, splashes. Okay, all right, so now we are ready to assemble. I'm just going to put a little seal adhesive right here and put our clouds down first. Alright, and then we'll put our water. And let's stick our otter's head on. Sometimes it's just that little extra piece that brings it all together. Oh my gosh, how cute! Okay, so we're going to use a little, let's see, I think I have some Wink of Stella. We'll just put a little bit on our splashes and then a little bit on our waves just to give it a little extra, a little extra bling. And then I went ahead and just do a little bit kind of down here just to make our water kind of sparkly in the sunlight. I can see that. You guys probably can't see it, but I can see it. So it's okay. Trust me. All right. And then we're just going to put a little bit of seal on here and pop this up right in the center. And that's it. I mean, how cute is that? And this is nice and flat, so it's easy to mail. Um, no extra postage required. Super cute and very easy to do teeny bit of cutting, a teeny bit of coloring, but overall pretty quick and easy. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, instruction, not the instructions, but the link to um, measurements and supplies are below in the description. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on um, future videos. We're also on Monday, we are doing a spinner card. <laughs> My brain wanted to say slider, but I knew it wasn't right. So um, we're going to do a, a fun little spinner card. Super easy to do. Um, spinner card on Monday. So make sure to check back Monday at noon. Or I think Monday at 7 is when I'm going to post it. And you guys have a wonderful Christmas. And um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.